Hi, I'm Suvi. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Seesaw class. You can set up your class on iOS, Android, Kindle Fire, or on the Seesaw website. Today I'm going to show you how to do this on the Seesaw website. Let's get started. Go to app.seesaw.me. And if you haven't had a Seesaw class, you need to create your teacher account. Tap I'm a teacher, then tap Create Account. If you already have an account, just sign in. Enter your first name, last name, email address, and password. Welcome to Seesaw. This will show you how to use our product. Tap the green arrow to learn more. Now we'll want to create our class. Name your class and choose your grade level. Some teachers find it helpful to name their class along the format of teacher name, grade level, year, but you can name it whatever you want. Tap the green check mark to save. And now you'll decide how you want your students to sign in. We have a few sign in options. For younger students or classrooms with just a few devices, we recommend the scan a QR code option. If your students already use email addresses or Google accounts to sign into other services, you can pick the email sign in option. We'll go into this sign in method in another video. I'm going to start with the QR code option for my class. Tap the green check mark to save, and then start adding student names. You can add them one by one or paste a list of student names here. And of course, you can always add more later. Click the green check mark to save. And now we have our class. You have a unique QR code for your classroom that students will use to sign in to your class. To get this class code, or this QR code, tap right here. Here you'll see you have your unique class QR code, and if you want to give students a text code, toggle to the text class code option. They can use either this text code or this QR code to sign into your class. Remember, this is for inside your classroom only, and never post an image of your class code poster on social media. If other people get a hold of your class QR code, they're able to sign into your class as well. Print the class QR code poster, and you can hang this all around your classroom with your unique class QR code. Let's go back to our class. Your students will scan this code to sign into your Seesaw class and start adding items to their journals. Tap the X to get out of here. And now you're in the journal feed, as you can see. Your students' work will appear here once they've added their first items. You can also toggle to the calendar view, which will allow you to see student posts in a calendar format. Let's toggle back to the journal feed view. Now that we have some students, let's tap on the wrench icon. In this class settings menu, you can manage all your class settings, including approving new student work, inviting families, adding folders, enabling item editing, etc. If you want to add more students to your class, tap on manage students. Now scroll down to add a new student. And there's our new student. Tap the X to save. And you'll see that new student's name has been added to our list of students. We have tons of options available to customize how your Seesaw class works to make it perfect for your classroom. Check out the Managing Seesaw Class Settings video to learn more about these options. Now I'm going to show you how your students will sign into your class using your QR code poster that you've printed out. We're going to sign in as a student now. Go to app.seesaw.me and have your students tap, I'm a student. Then you'll see a camera appears. If they're on a device, they'll hold up their device to scan the QR code off of your classroom wall. If your students are using computers, they can just hold up your poster to the webcam. Now students are signed into your class. The default is that students are signed in to a shared devices account, meaning all students share devices, so after they add a post to their journal, they tap their name so that post gets added to the correct journal. If you have one-to-one -one devices in your classroom, teachers are easily able to change this sign-in mode in their class settings menu by tapping on that wrench icon that we saw earlier. That will allow students to tap their name right as they sign in, 
then their journal posts automatically are added to their correct journal. And of course, you as a teacher can move student posts around if the wrong student gets tagged. What do I do now? You're all ready to start using Seesaw with your students. We have tons of awesome activities for introducing Seesaw to your students at web.seesaw.me slash teacher dash resources. If you have any questions, visit help.seesaw.me or tweet at Seesaw. If you're interested in using student sign-in email Google, watch the how to create an email class tutorial. We hope you love using Seesaw in your classroom.